Good morning, children. Welcome back to the social session. Children, uh, in the last class, we tried to finish up the part A of trade in the agricultural produce, under which we tried to understand about uh, the weekly market Santa, Raitu Bazar, where a farmer can directly sell to the customer, and even about the uh, daily vendor like Gauri. We met all these people and uh, we tried to take interviews of these people also. And Indra, a dry chili. Uh, seller also we have come across to who visits uh, uh, the weekly Santas uh, in a week and uh, we also learned that how these uh, agricultural products can be sold to the customers uh, through the wholesaler and directly to the customers today uh, let us learn about the agricultural produce uh, trade in the agricultural produce but this is part B hope you have finished the uh, fair notes of uh, part A children so in the last chapter as we have read about some of the retail trade how small traders bring various agricultural products to the consumers in the villagers and in the towns we have learnt in the last chapter in this chapter we will read about how uh, some aspects of wholesale trade in paddy takes place and uh, it is purchased from the farmers by the rice millers by the big rice millers uh, owners and the big traders and who trade in large quantities so let us uh, let us see how this is done generally how these wholesale uh, uh, traders purchase and big traders purchase and the uh, rice millers purchase in a large quantity from the farmers so let us see under this unit uh, the agricultural produce uh, trade so like the raitu bazar where the vegetables fruits and other uh, day to day requirements uh, household requirements are sold directly to the customers in a raitu bazar uh, there will be uh, agricultural market yard where uh, the market is run by the government and uh, uh, where the farmers can sell their produce and uh, get paid immediately that is called as a amy it's nothing but agriculture market yard children it is agricultural market yard so in this agricultural market yard all the grains agricultural market yard this is market yard and in this all the farmers bring their uh, produce it may be chilies it may be groundnut it may be uh, paddy it may be wheat or even the cotton different kinds of agricultural products are brought to the market yard every mandal has uh, the agricultural market yard in Varangal we have grain market the biggest in Asia where the farmers can bring all their produce to this market yard and they are paid immediately there so this is how the agricultural market yard is run by the government let us uh, come across uh, one of the farmer from Nalgonda called as Chandra Shekhar uh, this year he had a good harvest so the quantity of the uh, agricultural produce was high it is called a good harvest harvest in the sense if the yield is very good it is called as harvest so he got uh, uh, 60 quintals of paddy how much uh, kgs is equal to one quintal children 100 kgs is equal to one quintal so he got 60 quintals that means 6000 kgs of paddy he uh, got the harvest this year he had loaded all his uh, paddy bags uh, on a tractor and brought them to the Nalgonda. That is a Nalgonda market yard, agricultural market yard he brought. Who Chandrasekhar brought it to the agricultural market yard. And he unloaded his bags there and joined the queue for auction selling. You know what is auction selling? Auction selling. Auction means? Auction. Have you ever participated in auction? Ek bar, do bar, tisri bar. Okay. One time, second time, third time. They call price. Whoever quotes a high price, for them it will be sold. That is called as auction. So he started standing in the queue. There is a queue in the market. So he stood in that queue for the auction. Uh, at about 10 a.m., the agriculture market yard will have a committee. And those committee members came and put up a slip on the bag. So for all his 60 bags, there was a slip put. So on the quantity of paddy in quintals, uh, at about 11 a.m., the wholesale uh, traders and rice mill owners came uh, to trade to uh, check the paddy heaps how is the quality of the paddy heaps and assess the quality of the paddy and then the committee members began the auctioning first from the first paddy heap of a farmer then since the minimum support price that is a uh, what it is it is a minimum support price minimum support price msp we call it as government decides uh, a price of the paddy per quintal it is called as minimum support price below this you are not supposed to sell it so this is the price at which you are sold actually the, the auctioning starts 
and the traders if the quality is good the traders can uh, sell them at a high price they quote the high price even so this uh, uh, auctioning got started and announced by the government was 1080 rupees uh, per quintal the committee officials began their uh, auction from that price only from 1080 is the price at which they have quoted so 1080 they started so the auctioning starts at 1080 somebody says 1100 somebody says 1120 so like this the uh, the, key, the auction keeps on going so every year the government announces the mi minimum support price every year the price will not be same depending upon the conditions the price may vary so the auctioning minimum price also keeps on changing so there are for various products there are uh, different kinds of uh, uh, prices like paddy wheat uh, taking into consideration of the cost of the input how much cost is required for uh, uh, growing these all things so keeping that one in mind the government will decide the minimum supporter uh, price if the uh, trader is uh, willing to buy at a higher price uh, the government agencies like the fca food corporation of india buy the produce from the farmer at the minimum support price the trader may purchase at a higher price and if the quality is bad the tra trader may not come even to put 1080 also in such conditions uh, fci that is food corporation of india fci so this uh, food corporation of india will purchase directly from the uh, farmer at the minimum support price and the food corporation of india what it will do it will turn them into the rice and they distribute it in the public distribution system ration dukan se hamar ko chawal milti nahi wahi chawal jo government karti hai fci dwara the same chawal hamar ko ration mein milti hai and uh, of course the farmers are free to sell the produce at higher prices or to the fci it depends upon the situation in the auction bids uh, are called uh, uh, for the paddy being auctioned bids are the prices at which the buyers are uh, willing to buy and wishes to buy the produce after the uh, trader makes a bid the agriculture market yard committee officials counts slowly uh, up to three that is the first call second call and third call after the three calls that will be winded up if another trader makes a higher bid before those three calls then auction progresses until one has a higher uh, uh, bid once the count up goes up to three uh, then it it gets uh, closed whoever gives the call uh, for three okay then that uh, that price will be the final price and no higher bid will be allowed after that so let us see about the several traders and the uh, bid uh, mill agents uh, crowding and uh, uh, around the chandrasekhar's uh, heap uh, in the next class children until then thank you